leave like oh, they're starting awesome to. Play. Anything could happen. The way they're playing. Hit the cut back, David. His recovery gets into the secondary. He's inside the four. Waymo. Blocker up ahead. David oh, yeah. Tiptoe. And a great call. Showtime for the Lions. Nance and Romo, baby. He does about cut back, explode, and then right here. When you think Detroit Lions running back, the first thing that has to come to mind is Barry Sanders. But we all know that it takes more than one mega superstar to win a Super Bowl. Well, in most cases. The Lions have put together one of the most talented rosters in the NFL as we head towards 2024. Certainly one of the most talented rosters in the organization's history. One of the reasons for the recent turnaround has been what they've done in the running back room. Thank you guys for returning for another video. I am your host, Johnny Gaz. Today, we're gonna to return to our Y series. We're gonna look at Detroit Lions running backs, David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. We're gonna look at their stats, the impact they had on the 2023 season. We'll look at other running back duos around the league. In the end, I'm gonna answer the question and prove to you why the Lions have the best running back duo in the NFL. Let's go. Before we let the thunder and lightning roll, make sure to like the video. It is the best free way to help out the channel. Hitting the subscription button and notify bell is also a good way to make sure you don't miss any future videos. Thank you guys so much for the recent support. I love talking Lions football and interacting with you guys has been fantastic. There's now a membership option available on Johnny Gas Sports. Hit that join button and I will fill you in on all the different options and how you can become involved in the channel. Thank you guys so much. Let's get into today's topic. David Montgomery was born June 7th, 1997. He is originally from Cincinnati, Ohio, and went to Mount Healthy High School. He played college football at Iowa State, where he was first team All-American and All-Big 12 in 2017. He skipped his senior season to declare for the 2019 NFL Draft, where he was selected 73rd overall in the third round by the Chicago Bears. He played from 20, 2019 to 2022. He stands around 5'11 at 224. And he's kind of, I wouldn't call him a power back, but he's certainly a strength back. He's a run after contact guy, but ultimately struggled behind Chicago in their offensive line. Becoming a free agent, he signed a three-year deal worth $18 million with the Detroit Lions on March 16th, 2023. Jameer Gibbs was born March 20th, 2002. He's originally from Dalton, Georgia, and went to Dalton High School. He was a three-star running back and committed to Georgia Tech. He went from a three-star to a four-star recruit, ultimately gathering other big school offers, but he held his commitment to Georgia Tech and played two seasons there at the school. In 2022, he transferred to Alabama, and in that one season there, he was second-team All-American as well as All-SEC. We know the Lions selected Jameer Gibbs with pick 12 in the first round of the 2023 NFL Draft. And as we've talked about in previous videos, that pick at 12, along with the Jack Campbell pick at 18, was ridiculed for the value, especially with a running back in the top 15. But the Lions made it very clear that they value Jameer Gibbs. Brad Holmes sought him out and made sure that they didn't miss the opportunity to get him. And ultimately, they revamped the running back room from the previous year when you had Jamal Williams, DeAndre Swift, now turning it into David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. As we let off with the video, these two gentlemen in the running back room it was a huge reason for the turnaround for this organization and the magical season that they had in 2023. Listen to the stat lines for these running backs. David Montgomery in the regular season rushed 219 times for 1,015 yards, 4.6 average, 13 scores. He had 16 receptions for 117 yards. Jameer Gibbs, on the other hand, 182 rushes for 945 yards. That's a 5.2-yard average and 10 scores, also contributing 52 receptions for 316 yards and a receiving touchdown. Those stats continued through the playoffs, where David Montgomery had 183 yards on the ground, two scores. Jameer Gibbs, 144 yards on the ground, three scores. So they were all over the stat lines throughout the 2023 season, from beginning to end and into the playoffs. 
Now, as we look back on the 2023 season, we know that David Montgomery really came in and was going to be the primary starting running back as Jameer Gibbs acclimated himself into the NFL. Running back is a tough position to transition into the NFL, and I think overall the plan was for David Montgomery to be number one and Jameer Gibbs to be number two. Well, a rib injury in week six for David Montgomery sort of opened and paved the way for Jameer Gibbs to get more time as the starting running back. Week six against Baltimore we know didn't go very well, but he had sort of his breakout game in Monday night against Las Vegas Raiders in week seven. Um, I mean, I think he basically ran the first couple possessions himself. I mean, he was a huge factor in that game. It was sort of his coming out party, and it showed everything that he has as far as the versatility in his game. From that point forward, once David Montgomery returned after a couple weeks in that rib injury, the running back duo was truly born. David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs really became a great one-two punch Yes, there were a couple injury blips throughout the season, and they were able to, able to cover for one another. But truly, when they're able to be used as a duo tandem, magic was happening for the Lions. Listen to some of these accolades. Jameer Gibbs was actually named to the all-rookie team and a Pro Bowl alternate. Same as David Montgomery. He was also named to the Pro Bowl as an alternate. They are the first pair of players to combine for 1,000 scrimmage yards and 10 TDs each. And they almost individually rushed for 1,000 yards each, which would have been the first time since 2019 with Lamar Jackson and Mark Ingram in Baltimore. They combined for 27 runs of 15 yards or more and both averaged over three yards after initial contact. David Montgomery had 54 missed tackles. Jameer Gibbs, 46 missed tackles. And they only had 54 total the previous year in 2022. So it just shows the dynamic backfield transition from the previous year into 2023 and the true value that these two provided to the Detroit Lions and that offense overall. Now, we all know that that offense is predicated off of what happens up front, the offensive line. You can't have, in most cases, good running back or a pair of running backs without an offensive line that can block for them. And the Lions have proven that they have a top five, top three, maybe, arguably, one of the best units, if not the best offensive line in the NFL. So for those guys to run behind that unit certainly gives them an advantage, and it did so in 2023. But they have proven that individually they can strive and thrive, and together they are one of the elite combinations. And I am making the argument today that they are the best running back duo in the NFL. Before I give my true reasons and analysis behind why I believe David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs are the best running back duo in the NFL. We got to look at some of the honorable mention, the other duos that could play a part in this argument. I think the biggest, maybe the, the two that I think could compete in this argument the most is what's going on in on, on Miami with Raheem Mostert and Devon A. Chain. I think they were putting up video game type numbers early on in the season as that Miami offense just rolled through the NFL and the AFC there. But is it sustainable? They had some injuries. You know, a chain was on a kind of a record-breaking pace numbers-wise, but had the injury. And, you know, Mostert played most of the season, but I think kind of tailed off towards the end. In general, the Miami Dolphins tailed off towards the end. So my argument against those two is, is that sustainable? Can they carry on the momentum throughout an entire season, into the playoffs, so on and so forth? You know, I think the two that we're talking about here today, David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs, sort of proved that in 2023 because they seem to get stronger towards the end of the season and in the playoffs. The guys in Miami, unfortunately, did not. Um, another duo that I would bring up here is the new addition, Derrick Henry and Keaton Mitchell over at Baltimore. Um, you know, Keaton Mitchell's coming off an injury, but also was looking really, really good. And we know what Derrick Henry is capable of. Now, can King Henry continue that? as he makes his move to Baltimore. We know what the Baltimore offense can do. Their running offense was truly elite. Lamar Jackson is elite. So you throw Derrick Henry, a healthy Derrick Henry, into the mix, and that could be very potent. You know, But the question is, is King Henry, does he still have it? You know, Can he revive his career in Baltimore along with all the other pieces around him? You know, with the with the Keaton Mitchell recovery in his ACL, can he come back from that? Can he be the player he was prior to that injury? You know, there's a lot of potential there, 
But I think there's a lot to prove. And I think, again, when going back to me trying to discuss who's the best duo in the NFL, I think that Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery have proven that. And again, an injury bug can hit anywhere. But the the two Lions running backs are not coming off of a recovery situation. Um, the other two, and I'll go within the division, is at Green Bay with Josh Jacobs and A.J. Dillon. A very powerful combination of backs now with the addition of Josh Jacobs. Uh, we know A.J. Dillon has been around the system, but do they have a third down back? You know, is, is Josh Jacobs going to be able to sort of come up with a better season than he had in 2023. I mean, he was really good. Don't get me wrong. But I think, you know, there was a lot to be said for the Las Vegas Raiders offense. And now moving over to Green Bay, you know, what does that mean now for the Packers running game? Um, and again, neither of those guys are a true third down presence. So in looking at, you know, the overall picture and who could be the best running back duo, it sort of all leads back to the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions have the best running back duo in the NFL. Why? Well, we've given you a ton of reasons today. We've shown you the stats, all of the impact they had on the 2023 season. We talked about the dynamic and powerful offensive line they already possess. They added to that this year with Kevin Zeitler. They have weapons all over the offensive side of the football. Amon Ross St. Brown, Jamison Williams, tight end Sam Laporta we've done player profiles on all of these guys and talked about how the Lions could truly have the best offense in the NFL. And the running back room is one of the biggest pieces to that. The coaching, the offensive coordinator, Ben Johnson returning, Hank Fraley, the offensive line coach, has been around for several seasons, and now Scotty Montgomery, the running backs coach, working into the second season with both Jameer Gibbs and David Montgomery having a full offseason with no type of injury recovery. Everything is looking up and in a positive direction as we head into 2024. And it all supports the argument of why the Lions have the best running back duo in the NFL. Should be a fantastic season for these running backs. I'm excited to see how Jameer Gibbs progresses in 24. Can David Montgomery continue his consistent play, his powerful running? I mean, he's, he's, he's an after-contact type guy. His yards per carry has increased now behind this offensive line. There's so many good things happening. What do you guys think? Are these two the best duo running backs in the NFL? If not, who is? Did we name them today? Did I completely miss? Let me know down in the comments. Definitely want to hear from you guys. I so much appreciate all of the support on the recent videos. We have that membership option available. If you want to become more involved, just hit that join button. But the best free way to help me out, hitting that like button if you dig the vibe here at Johnny Gas Sports. The subscription button and notify bell is the best way to make sure you don't miss any future videos here on the channel. Again, thank you so much. Make sure to take care of yourself and your mental health. I definitely want to make sure you come back on future videos. Thank you guys so much. I will see you very, very soon.